All right, more alternate universe. Still hoping to get a future enterprise. This is my second ultra rare. A lot of these cards don't seem very, very randomly, very well. Randomly generated in a well, and I can't talk. You know what I'm trying to say. A lot of these packs have like three, two or three of the same card. And I keep getting the same cards over and over again. The set isn't huge, but Fire Sculptor, Hidden Entrance, Froggy Attack, Neutral, Kapapapa, Hidden Entrance, Jamharan, Interphasic Plasma Creatures, Hunter Gang, The Gatherers, Rashawn Uxbridge, Senior Staff Meeting, Tama, Wolf, and FGC 47 research. I'm gonna go a bit faster today because of the most recent alternate universe unboxing and getting a lot of the, of the same cards. For the back. Montgomery Scott, John Haran, Worshipper, Alien Labyrinth, Thoughtfire, IP Scanner, Fire Sculptor, Vulcan Nerve Pinch, Neutral, Outpost, Humukuma, a Reef Triggerfish, Rhinocampus Acetellus, I don't know how biologists do it, found near Earth's tropical islands. An animated version is a symbolic guide on the USS Enterprise schoolroom computers. Look at that advanced, those advanced futuristic computers that we teach children. Plays on any location. For this turn, your personnel with youth are cunning plus four and strength plus four. Opponents non-aligned personnel are cunning negative four and strength negative four. Seems pretty cool though, to make a youth deck and use that. Hidden entrance, Mott's advice. Mr. Mott offered sage advice to his customers at a variety of subjects. But there was only one thing you could really learn from him. Plays on any one personnel. While in play, that personnel gains the skill in barbering. There is a... Oops, sorry, that was too close. The cards were too close there. There is a barber pole that does nothing uh, unless, the, uh, with, unless they've... Sorry, unless you mix it with cards that are released way later, which is quite funny. Uh, it's just a barber pole that you just place. Lieutenant Commander Data... Play blackjack while trapped on the surreal casino on the Hotel Royale. Tex said, Boy, you have got the brass. Data said, Hit me. Play one game of blackjack using cunning. <laughs> uh, play one game of blackjack using cunning numbers. Player must show entire hand. Closest to 21 without going over wins points. Otherwise, lose points. Ties equal zero. Someone's surely made a deck entirely built around casino stuff. Baratus and a rare is Federation personnel with 8 integrity, 8 cunning, and 4 strength. I would have to say that that could be, I think I, I think maybe Beverly Crusher, let's see. Medical times 2, leadership and biology, that's got to be Crusher, right? Oh, right. I forgot that we're in the alternate universe. Beverly Picard. That makes more sense. Boy, I was watching some recent uh, reunions and convention material, and Gates McFadden does not seem like a fun person to be around. Marina Sirtis, you know, Troy, is great when she's by herself, but when she's with an ensemble, like, uh, reunion or whatever. She is also uh, quite a handful. Dax seems to be like the nicest person ever. Terry Brooks. Uh, I remember the Kira actor Nana Brooks being not such a joy about 10 years ago when I looked at that kind of stuff. Convention material and whatnot. But she seems to have softened up quite a bit and I see that happen 
as someone that's been to many big Star Wars conventions, I have watched as certain people, such as like Anthony Daniels, who plays C-3PO, just totally change their perspective completely on those ultra fans and those conventions. They Some of them resented going and resented Star Wars and that they needed the money. And, and then I've, I've watched that literally happen um, start from that to turn into them totally loving the fandom and loving the conventions. Um, I had the opportunity to hang out with um, pretty much everyone that was at one of the Star Wars celebrations um, at the private bar that they all hung out in. Well, they were all staying at the same bar, the Omni in um, Los Angeles. And I just happened to have a friend that was an agent that signed people for conventions and stuff like that. And uh, so I, I've, I've spent some close time with them and talked to them and had drinks with Bubba Fett and breakfast, just me and David Prowse, the guy that's in Darth Vader's suit. I think he liked that I complimented uh, his role in Clockwork Orange. So we had breakfast. So I, I actually have uh, a bit of real life experience with it. I'm not just speaking out my ass. And I've that's what seems to happen with these kind of actors with Star Trek, Star Wars, these insane fan fandoms is they start off a little bit bitter and resentful that they're taking this job. They're better than that. They're better than it. And I get why. I, I would I would I, I would probably feel the same way if I wanted to be traditional Hollywood actor and then but they could grow to love it and be really grateful for it and be really appreciative of it I mean Mark Hamill was one example where he he also resented the fandom and he's completely changed the he's the complete opposite now and he goes to a lot of conventions so it's 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 interesting to see that sorry about the long aside so we have a rare Romulan seven integrity seven cunning nine strength diplomacy I've got no idea Commander Tamalak. So yeah, it's, I, I think it's always really interesting to see that. Because um, Anana Brooks originally seemed to be one of those people that resented it all. and She seems to have changed to feel different. I mean, she can feel however she wants to feel about it. It's just a interesting little thing. Punishment zone, eyes in the dark. If empathy is present, add the skills and attributes number of one personnel, random selection from your opponent's ship. Alternate universe door, this is what allows you to play all these alternate universe cards, like that red icon over there. Malfunctioning door, destroy radioactive garbage scow, conundrum, baryon, Baryon buildup. Uh, place on ship. Range is reduced by two. Cumulative. Remove by returning to outpost and evacuating ship until beginning of following turn. Baryon particles build up on a ship's hull after prolonged warp travel. Particles must be periodically moved in the Baryon suite, which requires evacuation of the ship. Charged with ship admission safety, security personnel are willing to voluntarily expose themselves to hazards or threats, as Tasha Yar did on many occasions. Security sacrifice. Hunter Gangs, Imperial Klingon Council, Ratak, Phaser Burns, Lower Decks, Temporal Narcosis, Senior Staff Meeting, Plays on Ship with Officer, Engineer, Medical, Science, and Security Aboard. Just before the initial attempt of a space mission, First Dilemma Encountered is discarded. That's pretty cool. Standard, standard operating procedure on starships is called to meeting of senior officers or department heads to help find solutions to paramount problems. And we have a rare artifact. Data's head. What a legendary card. An excavation under the Earth City of San Francisco in 2369 discovered the head of Lieutenant Commander Data had been lying there undisturbed for centuries. Used as equipment card. Head has cunning equals 10 and computer skill. While on a ship, range, weapons, and shields are plus two. You combine this with Data's body to have a, well, as you think, a full, a fully functioning Data, but he's stronger than your typical Data.
Rashawn Uxbridge, Punishment Zone, Destroy Radioactive Garbage Go, Conundrum, Baryon Buildup, Malfunctioning Door, Conundrum, <laughs> Baryon Buildup, Malfunctioning Door, no. Let's look at this here, these first six cards. There's two barium buildups, two conundrums. Oh, I thought there was also two malfunctioning. No, no, I didn't get the malfunctioning door. We'll see. I probably will. Security sacrifice. Barkley transporter phobia. Lower decks. Temporal narcosis. Neutral rare. That's got to be a Ferengi, right? No. Burlington, Burlingoff Rasum Rasmussen. A thief from the 22nd century New Jersey stole a time travel pod, tried to pass as a 26th century historian to the crew of the 24th century Enterprise. Treachery, archaeology, greed may nullify time travel pod if present. Howard Herlum Candle, The Gatherers, Huma Kuma 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 Pua, IP Scanner, Latinum Payoff, Antimatter Spread, Thine Own Self, Latinum Payoff, Yellow Alert, Targ, Datom, Romulan Boy, a bright and active member of Spock's underground, once showed Spock Romulan artifacts depicting the syllabic nucleus of the Vulcan alphabet. Or present Romulans without treachery are plus one integrity. Lieutenant J.G. Picard, this is actually an uncommon. Jean-Luc Picard regretted his reckless youth until Q's alternate timeline antics revealed he would have been a mere assistant astrophysics officer. Cardassian Trap. Wartime Conditions. In an alternate timeline caused by the events of the Narunda, Narendra III, the Federation entered into war against the Klingon Empire. Forty billion. Forty billion! lives were lost. Place on table only if a Federation ship is attacked by another ship. While in play, the Federation may battle the attacking ship's affiliation at will. That's cool. Huh. I must have done that wrong. This must be the rare. Because this definitely isn't the rare. It's either that or Tatan, who was in the front. It's not, it's not the Picard, believe it or not. Hunter Gangs, Pure Klingon Council, Karatak, 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 Yeah. Worshipper, Alien Labyrinth, Montgomery Scott, Jam Haran, Worshipper, Fire Sculptor, Nerf Pinch, Thought Fire, A P Scanner, The Higher the Fewer, Mickey D. Billion of Hotel Royale, an early 21st century pulp novel written by Todd Matthews about shady casino characters made real by an unknown intelligence. Automatically wins royal casino side games if present. Thermal Deflectors plays on table while in play nullifies Firestorm, Thoughtfire, Plasmastorm, Fire Sculptor, and Phaser Burns. And Reunion is a rare. This is uh, used in quite a few decks, or it's made in... 
People make decks around it. Miracle Worker or Cantankerousness or Spock. And you get 15 points if one is present and 40 if all three. These cards are just in beautiful condition. Like you find stuff that come that came out in early 2000s and it's not in great condition and they tell you, "Oh, it's cuz it's really old and it's but this stuff is from 94, 95, sorry, and it's looks fantastic still. So it's just all about the quality of the printer that they've used and the quality of the card stock. Oh yeah. If the quality of the cardstock is good and the printers are good, you're going to have good cards and they're going to last for a very long time. Kills anyone personnel currently in stasis. Astronaut, colonel, colonel. I always want to say colonel. Why is it spelled like that? Colonel Stephen Ritchie was found 283 years after his death on Theta 116 8. He was caught in an unchanging eternal trap created by well meaning aliens. The Cherry Bidis, Kari Bidis, I don't know how to say that. The wreckage was quickly dated to 2033 2079 due to its 52 star American flag. I can remember that. Do you remember being a kid? And hearing rumors of there being new states. Because it wasn't that far off that we had gotten a new state. Uh, what was it? The Arizona was like the 70s. I, I can't remember what it was after, before the 70s. I know it's there was one in the 50s. but And so you would hear, you would always thought that there would eventually be more states. But I think now that time has passed and we're older, I feel like there's definitely not going to be any more states. So, I mean, maybe there will be. There was always the rumor of Texas splitting off. An example of the importance of such knowledge when dating ancient artifacts. Plays on table. Artifacts at completed missions cannot be acquired until archaeology is present. If try be destroyed, anyone present may acquire the artifact. Engage shuttle operations. Most major starships are outfitted with shuttle hangars and equipment necessary to launch and recover shuttlecraft. Place on table. Shuttlecraft may be carried and launched from your ships. If tractor beam and engineer present and land on planets, requires their range. We have a rare artifact. That's cool. Samuel Clemens pocket watch. The 19th century watch was discovered in a cave along with Data's head in 2369. After returning to the past, Clemens left the watch again to maintain the timeline. Place in hand until played as an interrupt card. One action that must happen on your next turn such as your card draw, happens now. Instead, place in hand until played an interrupt card. One action that must happen on your next turn. So can you, you must be able to do this every every turn, but it says play as an interrupt card. Doesn't seem... Hmm. There's probably something really cool you could do with this. I just can't open it the way some people do. I do not know how people manage it. I'll have to try it once I get packs that aren't rice thin. Alien Labyrinth. Montgomery Scott. Worshipper. Alien Labyrinth. Vulcan Nerve Pinch. Thoughtfire. Fire Sculptor. Another Vulcan. Is that three Vulcan nerf pinches? Oh, it's two nerf pinches and two labyrinths. Happens way too often. Frankie attack. Neutral. Hidden entrance. The higher, the fewer. Mickey D. Thermal deflectors. And a rare Klingon personnel. Eight integrity, eight cunning, eight strength. Is that some sort of, is that some kind of Martok? Diplomacy, leadership, honor, attributes plus five. Oh, that's Worf? No. 
Orff's son Alexander returned from 40 years in the future to influence his younger self to embrace the way of the warrior and avoid life as a peacemaker. I don't get it. Who is this guy? Is this Worf's son grown up? I don't remember. Just look how perfect the cards are, though. This this old. I mean, the centering isn't perfect, but... I guess it's just hard not to appreciate such good card quality and cardstock and ink nowadays when everything is so terrible. Neutral, Huma Kuma Kuma Pa, Hunter Gangs, The Gatherers, Antimatter Spread, Howard Heirloom Candle, Targ, Interphasic Plasma Creatures, Empathetic Echo, Davidian Foragers, Kavanaugh's Bridge Convergence, Casino Royal Blackjack, Lakanta, Male of American Indian Consent and Descent, actually the Traveler in Disguise. Wesley Crusher left Starfleet Academy to study transcendence, thought within. Eight integrity, twelve cunning, and three strength. Ship he is on may leave one end of space line and enter other end. Wesley Crusher is attributes plus four if present. Baratus and receptacle stones. Ves Alcar, a Lumerian, used those mysteri these mysterious objects in a ritual that would turn another person into a receptacle for all negative thoughts, causing rapid aging and death. Place in hand until you play it as an event card on the crew of an opponent ship. Any space dilemmas you encounter this turn may also apply to that ship and crew. Discard event. Wow, that's cool. That's a really cool card. Also looks beautiful. Let's see, you open four, five, six, seven, eight. See, just blank paper. <laughs> Thine own self, platinum payoff, targ, outpost raid, yellow alert, empathic echo, I've been saying empathetic, countermanda, Hell, Kevin Uxbridge Convergence, The Mask of Corgano, Particle Scattering Field, Mott's Advice, Blackjack, Lacanta, Cryo Satellite, an ancient sublight vessel designed to carry and store cryogenically frozen humanoids until a cure for their death could be found and to use and used to regenerate them. Seeds at a space location may seed one additional artifact and up to three artificial or uh, alternate universe icon personnel here those personnel come aboard your ship when mission completed that's really cool and i believe last one for now i'll actually have a video under 30 minutes which is quite a miracle Alien Labyrinth, Montgomery Scott, Worshipper, Labyrinth, Nerf Pinch, The Fire, Fire Sculptor, Nerf Pinch. Some of these cards are just so common. Frangie Attack, Neutral, Hidden Entrance, Incoming Message, Attack Authorization. Plays on any Federation ship. If treachery aboard, this ship must immediately attack one ship. Your choice at this location may ignore if a VIP is aboard. On several occasions for purpose of Federation security, Starfleet Command has reluctantly or mistakenly ordered captains to attack certain enemy or rogue ships. 
quantum singularity life forms, sentient dimensional beings whose young incubate in black holes. We've read that. Richard Castillo, lieutenant and helm officer aboard the Enterprise C. In 2366, he served as the liaison with the Enterprise D, romantically involved with Tasha Yar. And finally, we have a Federation again. Oh, we have a ship. Is this the Enterprise? I'm assuming it is. Enters play damage at any location. <gasps> Wait, no, it's not the future Enterprise. It's the, it's the Enterprise C. So enters play, I believe, with minus five range. Predecessor of the Enterprise D, famous for heroic action in Battle of Noranda, where it also entered a temporal rift, commanded by Rachel Garrett. All right, we'll do one more. I want to get another bridge crew. Pointless to try and preserve these packs. They just they just <laughs> shred up. Foragers, Punishment Zone, Uxbridge, Conundrum, Baryon Buildup, Malfunctioning Door, Garbage Scow, Conundrum, Imperial Cleveland Council, Rook Talk, Phaser Burns, Security Clearance, Quilar 2 Rendezvous, Rendezvous with Nefarious Merchants at Squalid Camp, Cardassian Trap, Mott's Advice. Well, I guess this sort of counts. This is a big Romulan ship, right? Decius. Powerful ship created on Barash's illusion, commanded by Tumalak, transported Admiral Picard and Diana Troy to a Romulan peace conference. One more. It's addicting. When your when the box is only eight dollars plus maybe a dollar fifty for shipping, you just can't help. Although that adds up. <laughs> Hail, Emphatic Echo, Mantramanda, Hail, The Mask of Corgano, Particle Scattering Field, Kevin Oxbridge Convergence, Corgano, Particle Scattering Field. That's three duplicates in one pack this time. Two Particle Scattering Fields, two Mask of Corganos. Two hails. Eyes in the dark. Alternate universe door. Captain's log. A commanding officer's journal of events. While on the surface of El Drift 4, Tamarian Captain Dathon made entries into his log by hand. Plays on table. Any of your personnel aboard ship he or she commanded or captain captained as reference in ship lore raises shields plus three and weapons plus three. Rascals. Passing through a molecular immersion field in a shuttle, Guinan, Rolaren, Keiko, Keiko, and Jean-Luc Picard reverted to children's bodies but retained adult knowledge. All unique crew members, maximum of four, random selection are kids. Strength equals two, and youth replaces first listed skill. Care with two medical and biology. Isabella. At the FGC-47 Nebula, the USS Enterprise encountered an energy being who took the form of a child's imaginary friend. It judged the crew from that perspective. Plays on any non-Borg ship at a nebula. It is destroyed unless youth aboard by end of your next turn. Wow. Or kill any one greed personnel who just exploited a worshipper. And we have, this is, what is this, um, diplomatic conference. People also make decks out of this. Giant 60 points. All right, I'll stop it here to end it under 30 for, for once in my lifetime. Uh, thanks for watching. Sorry about some dead air. And I'll see you next time.